unfortunately, um, we lost a guy and uh, he needed to be backfilled. So um, Kirk Newman and I went to, um, I, it was called Gecko at the time. Yeah. And, uh, and we just fell down on, on two, two, two more ODAs. Mine was a guard unit out of Maryland, which is cool because that's where I'm from. So we, like, we all talked about, like, Skate Haven and all kinds of places that we used to go to as kids and stuff. So um, most of those guys, and I think with exception of maybe one or two, hadn't, hadn't really seen anything yet. And so um, I remember telling the team lead, I was like, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm a little bit of a mortar magnet. So, <laughs> well, it happened. Um, we got into uh, De Chopin, and there was a handful of ODAs, and um, it all hell broke loose. Um, they blew, like, boulders into the roads, and, like, you know, bullets were flying. There was just, like, dust, like, kicking up all around us. And uh, so... I just unloaded. Um, I saw some some flashes, and um, it was kind of like at that point. I don't know if any many of those guys have pulled a trigger yet, and um, so I, I started unloading up into the hillside, and then all of a sudden, everybody looked around and was like, bum, 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 bum. you know, fifty cows, and two, you know, the grenade launchers going off. Everybody's like, you know, everybody's getting and. And so that lasted for a little bit. Um, the lead ODA had a JTAC with them. He was a guard guy. And I only met him once, but, I mean, God bless this guy. He was kind of in control at the time. And I was talking to him. You know, I was like, if you need help, let me know. Uh, but he's fully qual qualified ETAC, and he was crushing it. Um, it seemed to die down for a little bit. They uh, retrograded. Um, we had a couple of injuries, um, but um, to my knowledge, I don't think anybody was was killed yet. And then, um, so they left, kind of pulled back, and then we went in, and that's when we found out um, a lot of our Afghan forces were kind of caught in an orchard. So I had a um, a four ship of Apaches come in, and um, just meleeed the place. Um, and then we went in and got, we got who we could out and then, uh, drew back. And then, um, we kind of all like huddled, you know, we were out of the Valley at that point. So, yeah. you know, we, we were back to our uh, superior position. Um, yeah. this is how I think of it. I mean, so people with way better memories will tell me something different, but <laughs> I just remember we got back to the like medium ground. We weren't at the high ground, but we weren't in the valley anymore. Um, and then um, Kirk's, Kirk Newman's team showed up. And uh, I don't know how many hours it was between when I woke up and when I went to sleep, but at that point I felt safe and I fell asleep. Um, I remember Kirk. They went down and drove through kind of, they were now like trying to figure out like what happened. Um, yeah. And he said there was like, like four inches of brass just all over the road. Oh, um, really? From when you guys yeah. were there. Yeah. I mean, we Winchester, we were real low on it, like low, low, like we had 30 rounds kind of low. So yeah, I think that's kind of when I decided it might be some, you know, sometimes I think about something different to do. <laughs> so um yeah i came home shortly thereafter and uh put my paperwork in and headed back to dc 